very, I'm very um, immersed into the culture, you feel me? Because it's just like here. Ain't shit different. Just the language, a little bit of accent, but ain't shit different. It's all the fucking same. I don't give a fuck where you from. I don't give a fuck. It's Africa, France, goddamn Italy. Killings are killings. War zones are war zones. Motherfuckers get shot and killed every day in all these, the whole country, the world. So ain't shit different. You feel me? A lot of motherfuckers just don't know about it. And they turn a, turn a blind eye and just think it only happened in their in they, in they neck of the woods. And they don't. Motherfucker, don't think just because you go on vacation in the motherfucking Bahamas, your ass can't get popped in the Bahamas. Y'all see what happened when we'll go down when motherfuckers go to Mexico vacation. <laughs> Stop going to Mexico. The motherfuckers got no law. Motherfucker, law are the killers. You feel me? What's poppin' GE? Gang, it's your boy, Foosh, nigga, man. Back with another reaction. Back with another video. Hey, I want to give a shout out. Hold on, let me get this right. Let me get this right. I want to give a shout out to Jason. Jason sent me a DM on threads and let me know about this video and said I need to check into it. And then to give me a little bit of background and I need to dive into a couple of these videos. You feel me? So shout out to Jason. Uh, the links to my uh, social media will be down below, man. Send me videos. Give me ideas to do reaction to. As long as it's not music, we good. You feel me? So he sent me this video on... Um, on the war, the daily war in Northwest London, you feel me? And I know motherfuckers over here in America or any other country might not know um, that every place has a ghetto, Everybody, every place has a war zone, every place, you know, can be gentrified, you feel me? You can be pushed out your own shit, they can build houses and, and turn them up into a whole other fucking uh, demographic, you feel me? So, uh, I'm, I'm, there, I'm very interested in seeing this video and just deep diving into the uh, the culture even past what i've been doing the reaction just the music now i want to go deeper and see how y'all living and see you know what i mean behind the closed doors you feel me me being from la man i'm come from some crazy shit and i've seen some crazy shit and i grew up in a war zone my goddamn self so it's gonna be interesting to see a whole other country how their war zone is and how they get it cracking you feel me and to be honest with you i ain't gonna lie i feel like <laughs> over in london y'all get it cracking i know we do over here you feel me? But I feel like over there, man, it's when it goes down, it goes really down. And since the gun laws are a little bit different over in London, you know what I mean? If y'all checked out that last video I did where, you know, the, the deadly knife fights, y'all be sticking, y'all y'all play no games, and they don't give a fuck about what age you are. You feel me? Like, you got grown motherfuckers recruiting 16-year-olds and getting 16-year-olds into some crazy shit. So, um, it's going to be interesting to get into this video, and I'm excited, man. So, make sure you subscribe to the channel right now. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Let's run it up, man. It's the fourth quarter. We're at 11,000 subscribers, man. I'm trying to get to 12,000 by the end of the year, man. Let's run it up. Um, let's go ahead and get to this video, man, because I'm really I'm really excited to do this video, man. See what y'all got going on over there in London, bro. Let's dive deep into London. Let's see. Hold on. Can I put my headphones on first? Like, can we do that? <laughs> I got to hear it, don't I? Yes, sir. Let's get to it. In 2022, nowhere in London has been more popping than North West and West London. Probably the more three popping, most popping huh? artists in London right now are coming out of West London, being Diggity, Central C and Fredo. And North West London recently has got a sudden burst of rappers coming from that side of the city who are definitely looking to be in that list soon. But a big reason hey, due to the big money, spotlight though. on that side oh, of London yeah. is due to what's happening on the streets. Recently, North West London has been a war zone from Camden to to Kensington to Brent but today we'll be getting into yeah, a feud between Kensington, two man. estates that are so close together that you can literally cross territories in a two minute drive let's get into this video Shit. that's how it'll be in LA too you can go around a corner and be in a whole other set so you really gotta be watching where you're from so where you where you walk you feel me you walk from be Grape Street Walk over here, guys, before I get into this video, I want all you guys to check out my song of the week from an artist I've been tapped into a lot recently. So much that I'm giving away a PS5 to a random subscriber who comments the letters KN on his latest track called Nostalgia. Be sure to be posted on my Instagram in the description to find out the winner. The link to the music video will also be at the top of the description. We don't want to get copyrighted, you feel me? He might be good on your channel, but he ain't on mine. So, hold on, fam. Let me go ahead and scoot past this real quick. All right. Put your head down and be strong. 
So let's take it back to the 2000s when Northwest Hell London no. was in the peak of one of the most deadly gang wars in London history between two neighbouring areas called Stonebridge and Church Road. And this war literally consumed a whole borough of Brent. During the 2000s, different estates inside and even outside of Brent would pick sides between Stonebridge and Church Road, leaving family and friends divided between the estates they live on. In this time period, the crime got so bad in Stonebridge specifically, the UK government had to evacuate residents of the Stonebridge estate, knock down his flats, and rebuild the area with new modern homes and apartments. But many oh. residents of the Stonebridge estate hey. wouldn't be moved. Hey, that's that gentrification right there. That it was so bad over there, they knocked down the whole building and built modern homes to where the motherfuckers that were living there before couldn't afford them. So the motherfuckers that could afford them, you know, you know what I'm saying? Y'all know what I'm saying? They were gentrified. God damn, boy. That see, it's it's like that everywhere. You know what I'm saying? too far from home to only less than 15 minutes away to an estate called South Kilburn, an area nearly if not as bad as Stonebridge. South Kilburn started inheriting the beef between Stonebridge and Church Road and just how South Kilburn inherited Stonebridge's beef, other estates started linking up with Church Road, one specifically being an estate less than three minutes from South Kilburn called Mozart Estate. Mozart Estate had been having some back and forth issues with South Kilburn at the time but it wasn't always like this. South Kilburn and Moser Estate used to be on good terms back in the day, with both estates literally being minutes in walking distance. A lot of kids from both Mozart and South Kilburn went to school with each other, played with each other growing up, and even made money together. Why don't you own Hi. commercial real estate? That's yes, right. you. I don't want to real estate. You own commercial, commercial property. But that last thing was a big reason to do with their issues. Around the early 2000s, Northwest London was a popular spot for crack cocaine users, with Mozart Estate Everywhere. being dubbed Crack City Everywhere. and Ain't South no Kilburn bro. being a known a spot for zone. drug dealing activity. But with both estates Ghetto, being so close matter. together, so while both shit. heavy in the drug game, spouts of money issues and jealousy started destroying the relationship between both areas. As time went by, situations started popping off between the two and stuff started getting more serious. Around these times in the late 2000s to early 2010s, Northwest and West London was a very dangerous place. Back and forth shootings were occurring with most of the surrounding areas being divided. These times, gangs in Northwest were starting to heavily rep colours, with South Kilburn's yeah. side allied with a few other gangs in the area, including Stonebridge, were wearing hey. blue bandanas and flags. Them boys look like they play no games, you feel me? Like, I ain't gonna lie, man. I'm, I'm uh, one of my favorite colors is blue, and it's only because, you know, I, I grew up in South Central LA, and you know, my family members were uh, were, were Crips. You feel me from the rolling '60s? So it's kind of like I saw that. I never got into it. You know what I mean? Like my mom moved us uh, to Germany. You know what I'm saying? At at, at like 15 years old, because her husband was in the military. You feel me? So we got up out of there before me and my brothers got deep into some shit. You feel me? But yeah, blue is one of my favorite colors, man, and and I ain't gonna lie to you. If I if I'm just looking at this video, I'm you know what I'm saying that shit just look just like L.A. bro, rolling crips. You know what I'm saying, rolling sixties. You feel me? It's all the same. Um, so this just looks like home, bro. Like, ain't no different. You know what I'm saying? I can I definitely can relate to this. It's just crazy to see it. How y'all living over there is like if you get down, you get down. No matter what age you are, these boys is really active out there. You feel me? Bags, while Mozart's gang HRB and a couple other estates were repping red colours, the war was now turning into a London version of Bloods and Crips. Colours were starting to be a big issue in the area, that people were starting to get attacked literally just for wearing the wrong colour at the wrong place. Hey. English football player Raheem hey, hold Sterling on, hold even on, talked on, about how- I ain't gonna hold you. This, this LA right here. You know what I'm saying? This LA. I ain't, man, listen. When I was a kid, bro, we used to walk on Crenshaw to to our school, right? I swear it was like a mile. I tell my I tell my kids and even my brothers, bro. I, I talk to my brother. I'm like, bro, how the fuck did we make it out of there? You feel me? Like looking back at it, it's like, bro, we used to go get groceries, walk to get groceries to the store. I think about two or three times, we uh, walking back to the house. And we got caught, somebody came up from behind us, put a gun to our back, said, give me the groceries. Second time, somebody came behind us uh, with a knife, 
give me your groceries. We got to let that shit go. It ain't worth the life. You feel me? And one time, uh, some guy came up behind us to take our grocery with a knife. And the police driving by with people in the, with, we could, I saw it was two people in the back seat. But we flagging them down. And them motherfuckers didn't stop. You feel me? It, it be like that. It's just crazy. So, this is bringing up some memories right here, man. This shit's crazy, bro. How he was living in the area at the time. Sterling lived on an estate called the St. Raff's Estate during this time. An estate linked to the Mozart Estate, an area which was Bloods. But Sterling at the time was playing for the QPR youth team, who plays with a blue top. So even he said while he was leaving his house and returning from training or games, he would have to wear a hoodie or a jumper over his kit because he couldn't wear blue in his area. In the early 2010s, both sides started to be more active in the music scene. A rapper from Stonebridge called K. Cole was already making some serious noise on the scene, even He's being like one K. of the Cole. biggest rappers coming out of London in the late 2000s. A couple South Kilburn members started jumping on music as well, called Cowboy and Justo, dropping a few videos like one called It Ain't A Secret back in 2011. Okay, Not right, long Cowboy. after this release, a rapper from the HRB side dropped a remix to the song using the same beat, title and flow of the song called It Ain't A Secret, and this it's song blew up, crazy, really shining a big spotlight on the rapper Boss Belly and his gang HRB. Then on June the 6th 2011, another HRB rapper called Ratlin dropped probably one of the biggest UK rap songs to come out that year with his song called Messiah which everyone all around London was bumping at the time and HRB was really starting to become talk of the town in West London. But behind the music, the war on the streets was as bad as ever. In mid-September of 2011, there were several reports oh, in a few days of back and forth situations happening on I ain't gonna lie like my thing is if you're getting to the money why the fuck are you still doing the shit that can get you locked up you feel me like the whole point is to get out the motherfucking ghetto why are you guys making all the bread you're driving the goddamn Porsche sir you know what I'm saying you're driving a Porsche why are you guys still active like that that's the mentality man you gotta get out bro you got to get you and your people out that motherfucking shit. It ain't cool to be making hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars still be in the hood. You asking for fucking trouble. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, that part I don't understand. Because let me tell you, let me get a couple M's. I'm out the, I'm, I'm out the hood. I ain't going back. I'm going to help from a distance. You feel me? Like, that's the part I don't understand. Like, you can't be smart to where you were smart enough to go make the money and be dumb enough to stay there with the fucking money and, get, and then end up going, bro. Come on now. Both Mozart Estate in South Kilburn. Someone was believed to have been chased in South Kilburn. Next day, three suspected members of the South Kilburn gang rode their bicycles to Mozart Estate. When they got there, they saw a crowd of boys and girls gathered around the estate. One of the members got off his bike, walked towards the crowd with a shotgun, and let off one shot into the crowd. But this shot didn't hit anyone the gunman probably wanted it to hit, with it hitting the 18 year old girl who was holding their 11 month old baby. God, Luckily, yeah. no Nobody died from the shooting, but after this, oh, police died, really though. started to increase policing in the region. And with more back and forth violence between the two sides, the main suspects started getting arrested, and the Mozart to South Kilburn border started getting a little bit more quieter on the streets and music. HRB's main rapper, Boss Belly, was having some in house disputes with another member of HRB, which ultimately turned a few main members against him, which resulted in a period of a few years with no real hey. popping music from both South Kilburn and HRB. I ain't gonna lie, bro. When, sometimes, bro, like, I ain't gonna lie. Like, my cousin got killed. Uh, he was a blood. He got... The only fam family member that was a blood, he got killed in 2017. 2017. And uh, it was in-house, you feel me? It wasn't even for no ops or nothing, you feel me? Sometimes, motherfuckers, that you think it's your family and that you join the game to become a family, the motherfuckers will turn on you ASAP. When it comes to money, to bitches, girls, you feel me? Like, they will turn on your ass. So it's like, at the end of the day, you really can't trust nobody. I know you in that motherfucker game because you think y'all y'all motherfucking riders and shit like that, but motherfucker, this motherfucker, see you making more money than him, he plotting on you. He plotting on your girl, she got a fatter ass. You know what I'm saying? So that in-house shit, I can, I can relate to that because that's what happened to my cousin. And that's what made it, like, hard, you feel me? Like, 
to know that it wasn't from no op and it wasn't nothing that he did. It was just somebody was envious of him coming up in his rap career. And uh, you know what I'm saying? That, uh, when you get into that shit, that's how that shit go. You feel me? You got to be ready for that. Till late 2015, when the music sound in London started to switch up to more trap like music. This was when one South Kilburn rapper called Cowboy, now known as C-Biz, really started taking off, dropping his C-Biz. most legendary song called The Game's Mine. Younger South Kilburn members also started dropping tunes as well that started doing serious numbers, especially one rapper called Emlo, who really started making some noise on the scene. But on the other side, in 2016, the HRB member would drop one one of the biggest songs to come out in UK rap history. A rapper called Fredo dropped his first Whoa, song called Fredo, Day 100 yeah. and the I song blew up from the day. Shit. But not long after this, Fredo was arrested and went jail but soon would be released. And when he was released, he started dropping hit after hit. Same thing for C-Biz. He was starting to get yeah. more and more popular but it wouldn't be long before C-Biz would be stopped on his tracks. It was March 9th, 2016 when this video was posted all over social media. I told man don't be comparing man to these dabbing ass rappers, B. Tell your guy come get Yo! This is the old version again, this ain't a new play. Come get that B, Just shortly before this video was took, it was alleged that members from a gang allied of HRB from a nearby area called Church Road had robbed C Biz's jewelry from him. This video was going viral at the time, but no one expected how quick and deadly the response to this would be. Only a few hours after this video dropped, a couple unidentified people pulled up on Church Road looking for revenge. At the time, there just happened to be a crowd outside the area. This is when a gunman jumped out and sprayed an automatic machine gun into the crowd before jumping back in the vehicle and driving away. Sadly, this proved to be a deadly attack. But what makes it even sadder is the person that was killed was a complete innocent bystander who had nothing to do with any of this. See biz alongside a few other people from South bro, Kilburn. I'm telling you like this, bro. It's always the innocent motherfucker that had nothing to do with it to get killed. Whether it's a pregnant woman, a fucking child, a fucking bum, whatever. It's never hot, motherfucker. Y'all need to start hitting. If y'all gonna do this, hit your fucking target. You guys look dumb as fuck killing innocent fucking people, bro. Like if you gonna go get revenge and do shit like that, hit your fucking target. Don't just get on there and fucking spray into the crowd and be like, it's, it's like, okay, well somebody fucking died, but motherfucker, it wasn't who the fuck it was. Grab your chain though. So what the fuck is the point? You still, bro, you still look a certain way. You feel me? You still look tight pussy because you didn't even get the motherfucker that took your shit. It's a random fucking girl or a random fucking boy that got killed. They had nothing to do with it. And they still hold on to your shit. And they talk about your shit old too. You know what I'm saying? It ain't updated. It's gold plated. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man were arrested for the murder, with C-Biz eventually even getting charged for the killing and he went on trial for it. But C-Biz alongside his code of This is going to sound a little nuts, but the fastest way to potentially make semi-passive income from Airbnb is to never buy real estate. Defendant actually ended up beating the case due to lack of evidence. And when Seabiz came out, he started making big noise on the scene again, dropping a fresh home song just do your and rap another shit, song nigga, called just Buzz, do your rap big church you know road rapper nines. Fredo was also locked up at the start of 2017, but was later released after he beat his case. And when Fredo came out, he dropped one of his biggest hits yet with a song called Like That, clearing tens of millions of views, which even started bringing American attention to the rapper right. but what yeah, a lot American of people attention. didn't know was less than a month before this drop yet again another tragedy occurred due to the feud of HRB and South Kilburn it was May 26th 2017 around 9 p.m when two masked up men rode pedals from HRB's block the Mozart okay. estate to South they Kilburn pedals, it was huh? a hot day so a lot of people were out on the South Kilburn estate that day there were around 20 kids playing in the park and boys and girls were enjoying the nice weather and everything was looking like a standard 
summer's day until two men on pedal bikes came through and started shooting shots into the group of boys. The group of boys dispersed after the shots and luckily none of them were injured but sadly one bullet bounced off a wall on the estate which hit a 20 year old girl in the back sadly killing her literally in front of herds of kids playing in the park who she was close to. A few HRB members got arrested for this murder with two young boys being charged but ultimately the case got dropped due to lack of evidence. Around these times was when another gang in West London was starting to break through on the music scene as well. 2017 started seeing a big rise in drill music, creating new artists and also killing a lot of the older artists who couldn't adapt to the new scene. This was when a West London group called 1011 really started to make a name for themselves, dropping banger after banger, especially one of their rappers called Digga D. 1011 are from an area called Ladbroke hey. Grove, which is around 5 minutes away like, from HRB's block, the Mozart a, Estate. Both areas have had issues with each other. You guys have a movement, you know what I'm saying? Like, to the point where Americans are, are taking notice, you feel me? Why fuck that up with the bullshit behind the scenes? Like, you're supposed to put your goddamn city on, your country, your state. You're supposed to put on the right way. You guys are doing that. But then you guys are turning around and losing the shit for nothing. And then you don't get nobody from America that like the big record deals or whoever to fuck with you because you're going to be a liability at that point. We, we can't trust you. You feel me? Like you might somebody shoot up our studios. You might not live to, uh, another three months. You, we might invest in you and you're going to be dead in three months. You feel me? Like, come on, bro. Give me the opportunity. Shit. Nigga for a long time, with 1011 being linked to the blue side of this divide with South Kilburn and Stonebridge and in 2017, 1011 and HRB were really getting into it and 2017 also proved to be a very hostile year in West London but in the last couple years the beef has only got worse and worse on the 15th of July 2020, a young man who was affiliated to HRB was stabbed to death early in the morning hey, the person stabbed, stabbed was close to a few members of HRB, so HRB HRB there, members were unhappy about this, nice. especially but one member nice called gun. Billy the Kid. And the day after Billy's friend's death, allegedly he was out for revenge with a few other members from a nearby estate called St. Raph's. CCTV footage tracked Billy and his friends ride from a stolen car from their estate to the rival area of the Stonebridge estate. Once hey, they arrived, they drove near a group dark, of boys and let off some shots. But the group of boys that they were shooting also started shooting back, which resulted in two shots hitting Billy in the back and another Ooh. person in the car being hit in his leg. The person who was shot in the leg thankfully managed to make it to hospital where he was treated and recovered but unfortunately Billy wasn't that lucky and he ended up losing his life to the wounds. The shooter of Billy was never found and the craziest thing about this with three of Billy's friends being sentenced to life for his murder. The judge's Damn. rationale for this was that if Billy's friends never shot at the group then the group wouldn't have shot back and killed Billy. Separately, I want to know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? If you hang with the wrong motherfuckers, you're going to find yourself catching the charge. You know what I'm saying? If you didn't even kill the motherfucker. They shot at the motherfuckers that returned fire and killed their homeboy, and then they get life. What? What? And y'all still want to play these games? Well, y'all are crazy, bro. I love life, and I don't like no jail cell. I've been in that motherfucker one time. You feel me? And I don't like no motherfucker telling me what to do, when to eat, when to shit, what I can eat. I like my space. You feel me? I like driving my cars, eating burgers, bro. Fuck that. How y'all making all this money? Y'all y'all living better than me and then y'all go live in a fucking jail cell with motherfucking three other fucking people. Y'all crazy, bro. Everyone thinks of the decision in the comment section because a lot of people disagree with his verdict and me personally I don't really agree with somebody being I mean, convicted for a murder they didn't out. actually that commit and I'm guessing blind, Billy's blind, friends blind. will appeal this decision. A month after the murder of Billy, sadly another life was lost in the back and forth feud. It was the early hours of August 12th and a filio of South Kilburn called Gucci was outside his house in Kilburn but what he didn't know was a stolen Jaguar was circling his estate. Before he knew it, it, the members inside the Jaguar jumped out on him and shot at him multiple times. Paramedics were called to his house in an attempt to save him, but sadly a shot to his chest killed him, adding Damn. another senseless murder to him. See, they got their guy. They, 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 they shot and they got him. But I'm saying, if you're going to be in this type of shit, bro, 
You got to have a 360 swivel head. How the hell did you not see motherfuckers circling your shit? Like, that's suspicious. If a motherfucker circle one time, and I ain't gonna lie to you, in L.A., if a fucking car is out of place that you've never seen before, or a fucking person, or the wrong color, oh, motherfuckers are suspicious. Motherfuckers, antennas is gonna be up. How's a motherfucker circle around your shit a couple times without you even noticing to get shot in the chest? They, like, you gave them the bullseye. You got to be on point. Especially when you doing when you in some shit like this, you know what I'm saying? Like, y'all motherfuckers think it's a game and playing for fun, and turn out you lose your life because you ain't ready to you ain't ready for it. It is out of control feed. A couple months later, HRB rapper Fredo dropped an emotional song dedicated to Biddy, which was his first song he posted after the death of Biddy. Now we're in 2022, and it looks like this feud has no signs of dying down anytime soon. With two back-to-back -back high profile deaths so recently, which have shocked the really whole scene. Active, One okay. including the oldest right. brother of a big HRB rapper called Little Dots. It was early in the morning on July the 19th, when a HRB member called Wu was outside a block of flats in Queen's Park, West London, when a gunman randomly pulled up and started firing shots. One of these shots ended up hitting Wu in the heart. Paramedics were Damn. called to the scene, but before they could get there, Wu's friend drove him to a nearby hospital where he was treated. But sadly, the treatment wasn't enough, and he ended up passing away in hospital. A month later, in a similar situation, a rapper from the South Kilburn side called M. Lo was shot to death on Kensington High Street at 2 in the morning. M. Lo was a real UK rapping legend, being a big pioneer in the trap music in London, alongside other South Kilburn members like C. Biz and F1 back in 2016. So it's sad to see how this feud ended up taking his life. Hopefully we start to see this feud slowing down a bit, but with fresh situations going on constantly in Northwest London, it's becoming more and more unlikely. But until then, hopefully everyone stays safe. It's been your boy Kid Nerd and peace out. What? Hey, what? So it's, this was 2022. I'm sure shit ain't changing the year to 2023. So this shit is still active. I, this ain't goddamn five years ago. And I know he started out the video with two, the early 2000s. Now we got them 2023 and 2022, and they still getting down like that killing. Boy, come on, man. Get it together. Get your money. Get the fuck up out of there. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? Put your people on. Get your people up out of there. You feel me? The motherfuckers are going killing random fucking people. And the last two, they was able to get they got them target. They, they got who the fuck they wanted without some innocent people being killed. You feel me? But... This is an eye opener, man. Like I'm, I'm very intrigued because this shit just reminds me of home, and but I'm looking at y'all shit like y'all motherfuckers are active out there, and I, it, like it's really a war zone out there. It's, I don't know how you guys laws are out there, and how they're so different from ours, how to regulate it, and how you guys deal with shit like that. Um, the, bro, I, man, chime in, leave that shit in the comments. Like, what is, what is it like now today? Out there, you feel me? Is it still going down? You know what I mean? Like, is it still crazy? Like, as of 2022? Is it 2033? We almost in 2024. Like, is it still really crazy out there? I, I would love to know. Um, but I'm gonna continue to dive deeper, man. Like, keep keep giving me the videos, man, because this is opening to my, my eyes. And like I said, I like I knew C Biz because I think I, I did a reaction to C Biz's video. You feel me? I did a video, I, I think I did a uh, reaction to Fredo. If I didn't, I've, I've heard of Fredo for sure. You feel me? So um, it's interesting to know that they come from that type of background and they're out there doing that type of shit because I didn't know that. You feel me? I thought they just came up in the music and was making bread and just doing their thing. But to be in gangs, you feel me? Like, I would have never knew. I'm not from there, so but still, you, I just, I didn't know. Now I know. You feel me? So uh, make sure you run it up, man. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like right now, I'm going to keep running it up. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end this video, man. I'm going to go ahead and start making another one. I'm going to dive deeper into uh, what somebody else sent me uh, to, to, to watch. And we're going to keep running it up, man, and, and see what I keep coming across and see what I keep learning, man. I'm, I'm very, I'm very um, immersed into the culture, you feel me? Because it's just like here. Ain't shit different. Just the language, a little bit of accent, but ain't shit different. It's all the fucking same. I don't give a fuck where you from. I don't give a fuck. It's Africa, France, goddamn Italy. Killings are killings. War zones are war zones. Motherfuckers get shot and killed every day in all these, the whole country, the world. So ain't shit different. You feel me? A lot of motherfuckers just don't know about it. And they turn a, turn a blind eye and just think it only happened in they, in, they, in they neck of the woods. And they don't. 
Motherfucker, don't think just because you go on vacation in the motherfucker Bahamas, your ass can't get popped in the Bahamas. Y'all see what happened when we'll go down with motherfuckers go to Mexico vacation. <laughs> Stop going to Mexico. The motherfuckers got no law. The motherfucker law are the killers, you feel me? What's your boy Poosh looking, man? I uh, appreciate everybody that keeps on tapping with your boy. I, I appreciate everybody that's still rocking with your boy. Man, we're going to keep running up this fourth quarter. Uh, we're on our 12K subscriber grind. So help you why out. Share the video. I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Man, it's your boy Fusion. Man, we out this month. Go!